Hey friends, welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we're going to go through how to manage the firmware on the Zoom R20 multi-track recorder. Managing the firmware includes both checking and upgrading the unit's firmware platform. But before we go any further, I want to quickly ask you to please check out my YouTube homepage to view all of my videos carefully organized by subject. Also, if you find you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a great deal, far more than you know, and allows us to keep doing what we're doing. And now, back to the presentation. If I had a dollar, for every time someone complained to me that a CPU-based unit's features didn't work correctly, and I asked them if they upgraded to the latest version of the firmware and they said no, I'd be a rich man. Updating a unit's firmware means replacing or upgrading the low-level software that's built into the hardware so it can run more efficiently, gain new features, and or fix problems. Firmware updates generally come with software release notes that describe in detail the nature of the fixes and feature updates and how to use them. So be sure to check that out if you want to know what's going on. Before you update the firmware, the first thing you want to do is check the firmware version. So you will go ahead and tap the cog at the top of the screen. It'll take you into the systems menu. You scroll down to the firmware version and touch it. And at the top, it'll show you the system version of the current firmware. Now, let's upgrade to the current version of the Zoom R20 firmware at the time of this presentation. On your screen now, you see the Zoom Corporation website news section. And in this section, you see we are in the R20 update area and you'll see quickly a function update summary and bug fixes summary for the latest version of the Zoom R20 firmware. So what you wanna do is go ahead and click download firmware and that's gonna take you to the software download site as you can see. And what you're gonna do now is click the Zoom R20 firmware, which in this case is R20 system version 3.0. Go ahead and click that and what's gonna happen is it's gonna download a version of that software to the download section on your PC. After you download the zip file on a Windows system, we'll cover Mac in just a second, but first on a Windows system, we're gonna to need to extract the zip file. So select the folder that contains the downloaded zip file, which is gonna be in your downloads or should be in your downloads folder. Click Compress Folder Tools, and then click Extract All. Now this is gonna extract the zip file, which is currently compressed to an uncompressed folder. In that folder, you're gonna have three files. The file you're gonna be interested in for the firmware upgrade is gonna be your r20system.bin file. Next, copy the r20system.bin file to an SD card. Now for Mac users, what you're gonna do is after you download the file, you're going to open the downloads folder which appears at the right end of the dock by default. And then you wanna click that and the download file will be shown. From there, you're gonna copy that firmware r20system.bin file to an SD card. Now from this point on, everything is going to work the same for updating the firmware with a Mac, whether it comes from a Mac or whether it comes from a PC platform. Turn the R20 off and insert the SD card. Then turn the R20 on holding down the play button. The following screen appears. Now to start the update, press the record button. The update starts. So while your firmware is updating, you don't want to turn the power off or remove the SD card. 
Doing so could cause the R20 to become unstable and that is the last thing you want to do. Now, while this firmware updates going on, takes a minute or so, no, you maybe less, uh, this is something you want to keep in mind. If for some reason your firmware update fails, you want to follow the process that I talked about from the beginning again, all the way through where you are now. Our firmware is still updating from version one to version 3.40. It's on its last dot blinking there, almost done. All right, looks like it's completed. So at this point, you wanna turn the R20 off and we're gonna check to ensure that our firmware update was successful. So you wanna turn the unit back on. You can see down at the bottom, it shows you the firmware number. Now again, we wanna to touch the cog at the top right hand corner, it takes you to the system menu. We wanna scroll up to firmware version and check it. Our system version is now 3.40. Looks like we're good to go. It's important to check back at least once a year with a manufacturer for new firmware updates, as long as the unit is in production. You do this in order to keep it up to date, get new features, and fix those bugs. Well, that's a wrap. If you like this presentation, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new presentations coming out every seven to 14 days and leave a comment in the comment section about this content. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, and TikTok. Now, while you're here, check out some of the music, videos, and playlists because they're designed just for you. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.